And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono black aggro. That's right, we got a donation to, to try some mono black aggro again. You may remember this this deck from about three or four days ago. It was awesome. We did uh, real well with it. We went 5-0, and it was a lot of fun to play. Spawn of Mayhem was like the card that looked really, really good. And, of course, Drill Bit. These did. Um, but then, you know, we had good early drops. We got, like, Disfigure here that not only can be good removal against a lot of stuff, but also can just help out in combat. Like, we're attacking with, um, I don't know, like a 1-2, and they block with a 3-3, three, three, and then we turn their 3-3 three, three into a 1-1, one, one, and they're surprised. I don't know. That's just a <laughs> just an example. Um, but yeah, this deck was pretty fun to play, and so we're going to go ahead and play it again. We're, we are playing it through a league again. Um, that was part of it. So we're, gonna, we're going to uh, do this donation deck through a league again, and then we're going to be playing some of my favorite decks in Ranked. We got Selesnya Knights that we didn't get to yesterday, and then Abzan Hero, um maybe my favorite deck in standard like if i was uh if i'm able to play in the mcq next weekend i'm not i'm not sure yet um uh it doesn't look like it because uh because i'll be traveling but maybe i'll be able to get back just in time i'll, I'll we'll have to see um but that would probably be the deck that i'd be playing and that or maybe mono green midrange i want to try those two decks those are two of my favorite decks to play so we got to rank up sunday stream all right but first Let's play this sweet aggro deck. Let's get five wins again. Here we go. Go, Foulmire Knight, go! Hey, what's up, Rex? Good afternoon. How have you been? Planes? Oh no! Looks like Mono White aggro. With the beloved princess. Alright, maybe not. The beloved princess versus the Foulmire Knight. They kind of look like they're both like in the same, like, I don't know, swampy area. Like this princess uh, has like this... Man, what is this? This fairy looks... Mischievous. Up to no good over there. <laughs> Don't they always? Yeah, they always do. Okay, cool, Rex. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I really like the Gruul Kiora deck I was playing yesterday. Yeah, that's um, that's definitely one of my favorite decks, and you know, it feels pretty strong. Honestly, I think that's a, a very strong deck. Why not spawn? Basically, I'm just getting Midnight Reapers down so that like whenever our stuff dies. Or, you know, like, if it dies, we get to draw more cards. Um, you know, Spawn of Mayhem would kill them faster. But Midnight Reaper lets us play a better long game. Would I recommend playing it over adventures, over like Gruul Adventures? Yeah, I, I like it more than Gruul Adventures, honestly. Like Gruul Adventures, 
I don't know, has like, you know, like I don't really, like, I don't think they have like enough good adventures. Like when you don't have that Joel Innkeeper, you know, like you're playing like that two mana three one, I don't think is very good. And everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the QR list. As I talked about at the end of the video, I probably should have one or two Ember Cleave in there. But I just I just like some of the like the fancier green cards, you get to draw more stuff. But honestly, but with uh, Vivian and the Great Henge, with those four slots of two Vivian, two Great Henge, one one of those four should be a number of cleave and maybe two. I'm not sure exactly which one, like maybe over one of the two great hinges. Embercleave just kills people really fast, and it's not it's not fun, but it's I guess it, it does win games, and winning games is the most valuable thing. So I really should have one in there. So many cards. So yeah, I'm, I'm willing to admit that that I was wrong about not have like I'm wrong about not having Ember Cleave in there. I understand, but the other cards are more fun, in my opinion. But they're not objectively better. All right, just gonna exile two of these last three cards. And I could use the Murderous Rider to kill the Seraph of the Scales. Which I kind of think I will. <laughs> yeah, the Patriots lost. I watched I watched the end of the the end of the Bills game. Like fourth quarter, I watched fourth quarter and overtime. I didn't like their overtime drive at all. Like they just they just ran, you know, shotgun every time and they, they basically treat it like a two minute drive in overtime. Like they didn't run like you know, the build, like they didn't run the ball. You know that defense had to have been tired by then. I didn't like that. No, I haven't really created any sideboard notes for it. But yeah, let, let me know how it goes there, Arch Archangel. What's up, Storm? Happy Sunday. Ah. Lighting's always a little off in the middle, in the early part of the day, because because the, the window. Hawkeye is uh, uh, 
curled up underneath the sun window, though, getting some rays. All right, we got game one. Um, sideboard wise, we're just kind of playing black white stuff. I don't know if we really need to do any sideboarding. Could have like the finale of eternity, which is really impactful. I'll play that over a drill bit. I'm not sure if we really need to get rid of anything with the drill bit. Puppy. Puppy's in the living room. She came running in. Remember, I just went to the kitchen for just a little bit. And she goes bursting into my room looking for Hawkeye's food. To eat. Not to yell bad puppy. She doesn't care. She always does that. If I have to, like, shut my door completely, even if I'm just, like, going out to the kitchen just to grab, like, something to drink and, and going right back, like, you know, just, like, grabbing, like, some water. So it'll take me, like, 15 seconds. If I just, like, kind of close it, but not all the way, she just runs in and busts the, you know, busts the door open and goes and looks for the food. Stealing food, I can relate. <laughs> like, are you gonna finish that? Are you gonna finish that? So you're telling me that this this kitty cat and this this skeleton warrior that looks so scary. You're telling, you're telling me this skeleton warrior can't survive a fight with this kitty cat? <laughs> Barge in. That is true. There are four cats. Five cats. Three on the left, two on the right. Uh, really glad we get to hit in with the Fen Lurker here. Um, That spawn costs four mana. Last casket only exiles things that cost three or less.
No, this is not a 12 hour day. No, just Sundays. I start early on Sundays. We go like 1 to 8 instead of 3 to 10. Go, Fen Lurker, go. Fen Lurker saying, hey, you, you disrespected me by not taking me with the glass casket. I'm going to show you why that was a wrong decision. Most likely blocking gutter bones. Fenlurker's taking down three creatures now. Alright, that's going to be a little annoying to attack through. Nice, it's a nice aggressive attack. No, no, I didn't mean I clicked okay too many times. Oh, I meant to bump. We're down to eleven. see we get paired up here for round two so cauldron familiar into fen lurker into a yara into gray merchant yeah mono black devotion is going to be pretty sweet oh lucky you just had chipotle i'm jealous it's like my go-to my go-to meal if i if i do ever uh, go, you know, get food somewhere. That's like my number one place to go get food at. Like I eat more Chipotle than any other restaurant by far. What? What is this?
I could just like, you know, I could just not activate Knight so that they want to play Clarion, then I then I can activate it to save it. But you know, we're just doing one point of damage a turn by that route. Very boo. I've got protect you <laughs> you've never heard of burritos and I've never heard of sausages We've gotten rid of the three sweepers that they started with. We don't know anything about no, I am not making this the last cards in hand, though. of another Clarion. Hey, Escoria. Um, yeah, I would probably rec you want the fastest deck, best of one, probably like Mono White Formation. I think that's what I'd recommend. Fourth Clarion. Ugh. I guess I could have could have kept the Knight's activation available. At least they should be out of. Clarions now. They should be. But you never know. people out there that may be putting um, five Clarions in their deck.
six sweepers now. All right, good job, Midnight Reaper. All right, so more Order of Midnights. Protect against more sweepers. <clears throat> the control deck playing their sixth sweeper and then conceding in response. That doesn't happen. Or conceding like right afterwards. That that doesn't happen very often. They're like, all right, that's. I just killed all your creatures again. I can't handle this anymore. I concede. All right, Disfigure's not killing stuff. Don't really want Rotting Regisaur. Um, Grasp kills some things. The only killing Kenrith is nice. Duress is nice. I think Azorius Control is the best control deck. I don't think I want to play Noxious Grass. Like we have to be worried about like their their big like all their cavaliers and everything like that. The grass only kills only only kills Kenrith though. Kinda of wanna play this gruesome menagerie. I'll just play the dresses. Yeah, I was happy happy as is, Archangel. But of course if you have other sideboard cards that you that you really like or you know something else you want to play, you know, feel, you know. Go ahead and change something. Someone to save me. No, oh, oh, oh. So the problem with taking like Teferi and then taking Fay of Wishes is they they just cast like if they just cast Fay of Wishes as like a one four. That's honestly just a problem. So I kind of think I need to take Fey Fey. Then they play Teferi and bounce that, and then I'm just like really slow. Let me do this. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we draw a third. Hopefully we draw a third swamp. They keep they keep putting cards on top, so I guess they they kept Temple of Triumph. So now we know their whole hand. Hopefully we draw this third land. Uh, we did not. Because if we draw the third swamp, we can just play it. We can attack with just the knight. They don't block the knight. Stand by and watch. This 
Might be a bad idea. And life's better. What's up, Sothian? You went ten and two with this. Oh, I've this done morning. the hero thing before. Okay, historic knights, mono white knights. Yeah, that deck looks good. Drawn from Dreams is really good. They're definitely drawn good after you know we taken their took their hand to ferry into Drawn from Dreams. That is pretty good. Um, Trust me, I have a plan. Don't have any, or no, they do have an enchantment to put back in their hand. Right, the Conclave Tribunal. I'm known for my excellent timing. Here Why don't you just bounce, like, just bounce the Fae of Wishes and then cast it? No. All right, I guess that's why. All right, we're going to need to do a little bit better job mana-wise. I wish I would have just taken both the Fae of Wishes right away on that turn. That, As we saw, like that 1-4 that was a, just a huge problem, that, that whole game. I should have just done that, like that turn. Um, you know, maybe if we draw the untapped land. I don't know. Yeah, I think I should have just taken both Fae. Difficult, difficult getting through that one form. All right, we got more lands this time. That's good. It's turn three. They start playing Clarion. And all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll let them exile a card first before I start choosing. And get a little bit more pressure out there. They've scryed to the top like every every single scry like the last two games. Yay. See, so I had to say that so they could scry to the bottom. Alright, well I'm getting this in play. It doesn't die to Clarion. Still fine. Let's try this. Let's 
that's a, gonna be a pretty difficult hand to beat. Seeing that, hope you know. Seeing if we would draw a duress or a drill bit there, or even I don't know if I'd want to throw down another one drop. But jeez, maybe I should have just taken drawn from dreams. No, I mean fires is the card to take. That's just unfortunate. They just drew another one. Want to take tribunal? I mean, if I. If I take Tribunal, then they get to go Fires, Drawn, and while I hit them one time, they're going to certainly have, like, Time Wipe and all sorts of other good stuff. Um... Yeah, well, they get to look throughout most of their deck. I mean, Drawn from Dreams dig so far. Probably should have just taken Drawn from Dreams. I don't know. I mean, Fires is their enabler. They, like, they spend the entire turn casting Tribunal, then they spend the entire turn playing Drawn from Dreams, then they spend the entire turn doing the next thing. It's not as bad, but Fires... You know, they got to. They still spent that turn doing Drawn from Dreams, but now they get to start double spelling and everything. I'm sure. I mean, we're also post sideboard, remember? So I'm sure that they have other things. Yeah, I mean, every single Fae of Wishes, I'm sure, is a time wipe also. I'm sure they'd have, like, other things like Devout Decree and other stuff. It's not like they needed only exactly time wipe. If I would have taken Tribunal. Let's see if they do this correctly. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Nope. Check out these fireworks. In this spot, they're supposed to be minus minus two. They really should minus two and exile the Midnight Reaper. And then I don't get to draw all the extra cards. Um, I just have like the two one one still. Shimmer possibility is still going to be... Yeah, like, I, I think we're still underdogs here because of fires. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't regret... I think I think that fires was the correct card to take. I don't regret that at all. It's just really unfortunate they drew another one right away. That was a really good Fenlurker draw for us. That was really good. I mean, even after all that, they still get Castle now. <laughs> yeah, that was that was bad. They had a Ninja Castle. Um, geez. 
Fires of Invention, so busted. This game's over. Yep, GG. All right, one on one. I wish I would have had Legion's End in those games to try to exile the 1 4. Especially the game, the game 2, Legion's End would have been amazing. I brought in, we just brought in duresses and wrinkles and something else. <clears throat> dresses, wrinkles, and something else. I don't remember exactly what. We cut the disfigures and the seven sixes. There, I wasn't taking Tribunal. Tribunal is not the card to take. It's drawn from Dreams or Fires. Tribunal is a one-for-one -one spell. The others are so much more powerful than that. They have the three one. Yes, they have the three one. That's kind of rough. Three one would give the. The Blacklands Paragon give the Fervent Champion Death Touch, so like I block, I pump the Fenler, or like they block, pump the Fenlurker.
Okay. We're doing good. Make it more difficult for them to activate castle also. Back. Yeah. Hey, Soto. Got that one. Let's get some Legion Sends in here as well. Um, do I want Rankle to counter their Rankle? No, I don't need Rankle. Let's get Finale of Eternity. Um, don't think this is a great Gutter Bones matchup. But I also can't have everything cost this much mana. Maybe we'll trim. Uh... Basically, it's all about Embercleave. Like, if they have, you know, big creature Embercleave, I'm going to die. Um, to... But we have, like, the drill bits to try to stop that. We'll play two Reaper, two Gutterbone, and bring in removal spells. Um, I don't know much about Pioneer. But I would say no to Walking Ballista getting banned. I would be very, very surprised if that was if that would happen. I I don't think that heal you know like that Heliod Walking Ballista combo. I think people are overrating that so much. So which one do we want to disfigure, which one do we want to Legion's End? I guess we'll disfigure the Fervent Champion and Legion's End the Crusader. Need one more land. I still need one more land. People are testing it in a white weenie deck to great success. I mean, are they testing it against decks that have like actual cards to fight it? You know, like actually, you know, like a, and all that kind of stuff. Like 
people will definitely adapt to it. There's I don't think that I mean while while it can be just, you know, like a a good combo, but I don't think it's anything you know different from other combos available. I guess I think it's I don't think it's um any risk to being broken. I think it will exist. But I'm not even convinced that that's like too good for standard. But much less too good for modern or for pioneer. So I didn't block there. My plan was next turn was going to be finale for one to destroy all three creatures. But my opponent just knows they, they just had... Um, you know, they just had a 3-1 and two two ones against six cards. And I guess they, they scooped because of that. But yeah, I was going to finale and destroy all of them. Don't you need, if you think it's a Splinter Twin scenario, I mean, you'd need six mana, right? Like, you'd need to be able to play Walking Ballista on two and then also activate Heliod. Heliod. So if you want to do it in the same turn, you'd have to have six mana. Hey, whales. Yeah, I don't I don't think any deck that has healer's hawk at the one mana slot's gonna be broken. Alright, we'll see if this is, is this blue eye control, maybe dress guy again. to extend further. Good part about Night of the Ebon Legion. Well, one of the good parts about Night of the Ebon Legion. Hmm. Didn't need to, like, play something into a counter spell. You just activate. Let's have our opponent stumble again. I made life pretty easy when they were they couldn't hit land drops. So disfigure and rotting registor come on out, and we got one more slot. Falmire Knight can come on out. Could take out murderous rider too. You know, I could trim a murderous rider at least. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna trim a murderous rider actually. I'm gonna keep the the one mana card because we have stuff like drill bit and spawn of mayhem and even just having um gruesome menagerie because and and even order of midnight like getting lower. Right, I really like that swamp draw.
No, this is a bad turn by me. I should play Gutter Bones and, and Knight of the Ebon Legion. So I did that. I led with Knight, not Gutter Bones, because if they countered Knight, I'd be able to pick it up immediately again. So I traded half of my Order of Midnight for an Absorb. I've got it. Looks like they were digging for land. They found a land. Two time wipes and a finale revelation. Finale. Yeah, this is looking good for us. You can have a castle to draw more cards. Um. Hmm. You know, like we do have this castle to draw more cards. Let's extend. It's not super likely they just rip a time wipe, and this gives them a lot shorter clock to do it. Then, in case we drew a land. Didn't play, you know, more stuff out so I could activate Castle. If I had the mana to play Gutter Bones and activate Castle, I would have played Gutter Bones also. Because, of course, Gutter Bones isn't that big of a deal. But I'm emptying the hand instead of playing Murderous Rider again because of Castle. That was a good convincing win. And we're three and one. It was easier when the control deck didn't have one fours for me to run into. It made it easier. It was one fours. Godless Shrine. What we got going on over here? Watery Grave. These Fen Lurkers have been awesome. Yeah, look at that. Just trade with the Kai's Wrath.
very glad we got this castle locked, Twain. Oh, are you kidding me? Boo. Ugh. I was going to be able to order a Midnight, pick up Fenlurker, and then play Fenlurker again with this four lands. That would have been a lot better. Man, that would have been a lot better. What? Why would you possibly take Murderous Rider? Unless you have another thought to raise her. I can just grab Murderous Rider again. They gotta have a counter spell, I guess. Hmm. No? Take Murderous Rider. Right on schedule. Don't worry. Yep. I got you. gotta have like Liliana, right? Ugin. Likes getting both the Midnight Reaper and the Order of Midnight out of my hands. So they didn't get to Thought Erasure either one. Here goes nothing. Potaru, what's up? Yeah, I like Fenlurker a lot more than Orzhov Enforcer. Yeah, and, and the Fenlurker has just been awesome. Yeah, much more impactful than uh, Orzhov Enforcer, honestly. All right, so Esper Dance. Let's get Duress. Um, Duress, Rankle, Order of Midnight. I guess we just treat it like blue eye control. Just do the same sideboard in there. We'll cut a rider, Reggie, disfigure. I could probably cut more rider if I wanted to. What'd you miss? You missed some good magic of us beating people down, beating a couple control decks, beat beat Rakdos aggro, beat blue white control the last two rounds. And now uh, we won game one against uh, Esper Dance. We won a lot of games in a row. I think, we, I think we won the last five games. Yeah, that makes sense, Kendis. I think I think Spawn of Mayhem and Murderous Rider are too good. I don't think you can really cut them. But yeah, it would be nice to have more two drops. This is a pretty awkward hand. I'm not mulliganing it. It's just an awkward hand. Hopefully we draw one drop off the top. One drop off the top. One drop off the top. One drop. Off the top. One drop. Not quite. Damn. 
and Lurker. It's been so good. Look at that. Last time I got rid of a Kai's Wrath, this time I'm just getting rid of a Teferi. Then Lurker is so good. Well, they missed a land drop. Got a bunch of spells over here. Double Cry of the Carnarium. No, thank you. You want to kill my Fenlurker? You got to do it the old fashioned way and gain a lot of life. Um, I think it's my best play to just play one out. Could activate castle, you know, and everything, but I think this is my best play. Because you may think that we didn't get any value out of that Order of Midnight. But... It's actually back into our hands. We can still get value out of it. Go ahead. Kill the other Order of Midnight. I dare you. I dare you. Go ahead. Play another Othakaya. We're in the same spot. And we'll be if you play another one, Jack. Ah, the golden egg. Dude, Fenlurker is MVP. I've got it. Um annoying. I will rebuild. Obviously, dance is the scary That's card. Like you know, it. like, we can... We can fight through a lot.
The dance is a scary card. Maybe I should be playing Rankle there and discard. Do this all day. Yeah, have the Order of Midnight loop, so I can, we can just keep sacking Order of Midnight, pick it back up, play a new one, sack the new one, pick it back up, and so on. So we have that loop going. Scry two to the top. No, we, we have to keep the fun. We have to keep the Order of Midnight loop going because we can't really grab them there, girl. Could grab it here. Hmm. Maybe I should have grabbed Fen See, I could have grabbed Fenlurker there and made them discard that one other card also. Did kind of feel like they had a dance in hand. I bet that is a dance. I should have. I guess I should have grabbed Fenlurker and make them discard both cards. That was tough. I wasn't sure about that or, you know, get another Midnight. But yep, they they did have a dance. I kind of I was kind of reading them for having a dance in hand. <clears throat> it's unfortunate. Yep, should have grabbed them, like that turn. With them having not only just uh, dance, but then a second Doom Foretold, obviously. Was the killer. <laughs> Alright, so I, I like our chances for game three, though. Yeah, I like our chances here. Need to draw one more land. Hey, what's up, boot? Let's 
Oh my gosh, I want to play Knight. Ugh, played the wrong card. <laughs> That's the thing about that stream when playing. That happens. I had like my plan to play night, took a little bit, look at chat, say hi and everything, come back, and I just played duress. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Glad they got rid of the Cry of the Carnarium. They have a Kaya's Wrath. I'm in a lot of trouble. They have to have White Source Kaya's Wrath. They don't. We have to end this game quickly. Explosion, we are four and one. Final boss time. Let's go. Final boss. We're going to win and get that five win dream. Mulligan. Mm. Didn't want to risk putting a land back and us not having enough lands. Really wish I had that disfigure right now, though. Really wish I would put a land back. Alright, so they certainly have more more murderous riders in hand. That's my expectation. If they're just willing to throw one down, they got another one. That card's so good. It would have been so good to have this disfigure, because then we could have saved this for Questing Beast. Or Rotting Regisaur. Any of that stuff.
Come on. That was rough. <sighs> I don't really see us winning with them having the castle over here and everything too. Drawing his questing beasts. Must be nice. Well, Gyrebones is going to go. It's not... It's not going to be large enough in combat. Do enough. I do want Legion's End, kind of. Maybe not all of those, but Legion's End's really nice as far as exiling goes. Um, Grasp is good against Beast, but not really anything else. So that may still be good enough for it. I like Order of Midnight, too. Okay, so we like I like all these cards. All right, so we've got to cut seven. All right, so what do we want to do? So Midnight Reaper. All right, we're not going to play four Grasp. We're not going to... Don't need four disfigure to go with three legions end. Start trimming. We're not going to play all of those. We're not going to play all of those. We're probably just going to stick with the two. Um, the reason why legions end is, is really nice is because of their order of midnight being able to pick Fenlurker back up. But this figure can be awesome in combat. I don't know. I was thinking like Wrinkle. Yeah, no, actually, we're not going to play Wrinkle. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, just another mulligan for us. And another seven card keep for them. Fenlurker again took out casualties of war. Come on. 
this figure. Gross. No, I don't I don't want duress whatsoever. To survive these creatures. Like this figure has to like kill these these creatures, like especially innkeeper. Like yeah, Vivian and Great Henge are awesome with Black Dino. I'd rather try to be killing the Black Dino and just worry about the creatures. We have drill bits. We don't need more duress. Like you don't need duress to go along with drill bit. Such a terrible spot. I can't beat the Sin Keeper and I can't beat the Questing Beast, and I can only kill one. I was hoping Riding Registrar would kill one, you know, kill like the Questing Beast, and then I could Murder Strider the other thing, or, you know, I just wanted to give it a try. But if I kill, obviously, if I kill Questing Beast, which we need to do, there's drawing a lot of cards here. This Order of Midnight may have won my opponent this game. Being able to get that innkeeper. He's drawn him three cards already now. Yeah, they just had a lot better hands. You know, like we mulligan both times, and they just had awesome hands. Like they easily kept their seven. Hey, Noxious Girl. I'm having an awesome Sunday. Thank you. Thanks for joining. What? Really? Really?
Yeah, they're the innkeeper at the beginning of both games. Keeper at the beginning of both games, and then questing beasts. Go down to two, go down to one, play rider, untap, die. Just have to block with spawn. Play Knight of the Ebon Legion, uh, then it really turns Massacre Girl into being awesome. If I don't, they just play a removal spell, I die. I don't think I'm going to take it. Not dead yet. Masker Girl has menace, of course. I don't get to block it. Blah. All four innkeepers. All right, so we went four and two. They just had a much better hands than we did that last one. Um, yeah, still like our deck though. I know. Yeah, I'd still really like the deck. Uh, I think I probably should have brought in all four Noxious Grasps, but but still, that was just pretty tough. You know, like we we mulliganed both games, and you know, like we had six or seven lands uh, by turn three both times, um, and my opponent had awesome curve. Like so, the games just weren't very close. <clears throat> Could have been the other way around, though. Could have been. 
yeah, good run. This is a solid deck. You know, playing it two times now, uh, still still feels very solid. It's very, uh, very consistent with just being a single color. The 22 lands feels just fine. Um, besides those last two games, you know, like we weren't like flooding out too much uh, because of the 22 lands, but we were hitting like our third land drop most all the time, which is what you need with this deck. I liked it. So yeah, this deck is just pretty solid. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily know this would be a gray merchant deck. You'd have to, you'd have to change it up to to make this a gray merchant deck. Um, you'd have to add some more. Like we probably need a couple more lands first of all. But could have like gray merchant instead of rotting regisaur. If you really want Grey Merchant, but I don't, I don't know if I don't, I don't know if this would really be a Grey Merchant deck, honestly. I mean, I th yeah, you definitely build, you can definitely build Grey Merchant decks, but I don't think this is it. Anyway, uh, there we go. So there's Mono Black Aggro. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.